Hello and welcome back to another exciting video with me, Eric, from Rentos Are Unlimited. You're probably sick of hearing that by now. Today we're going to talk about lock pages in memory, which is kind of a controversial, weird setting where uh, you allow a SQL Server to effectively get pages into memory and never let them go. So no matter what Windows does, no matter what other processes do, SQL just says, no, that's my memory, I'm going to hang on to that. You get your own memory. To talk about block pages in memory, you have to talk about paging. You have to talk about disk and memory, too. If there are too many requests, right, too many things going on that need memory, and there's not enough RAM, the OS may go and use the page file as secondary storage. And if there's one thing we know about disks, where the page file is, is they're slow. They are much, much slower than memory. Most of the time, people didn't want that happening. They didn't want their SQL server using the page file because, heaven forbid, you have to do <laughs> that. Was in memory, now it's on disk, and now I'm reading that. I don't, it's confusing for SQL, and it's slow for you, and it's slow for users, and no one wants to do that. No one wants to deal with that. SQL server wants to use as much memory as it possibly can. It will always, when, as soon as you start reading stuff into memory, SQL will say, ha, ha, I've got all this memory, I'm just going to keep using more. You go over there, and you go over there, and I get this table here, and this sort over here, and this hash join over here. It'll just keep grabbing memory and using it. It's a big piggy. Now, lock pages in memory is a Windows account based policy. It's not something you really set inside SQL Server. This is something you go into security policy and you uh, give uh, the uh, lock pages in memory privilege to your SQL account. Uh, in older versions of SQL Server and on older operating systems, memory management wasn't as great. It wasn't as kind to SQL Server. For instance, memory would get allocated to, to the SQL Server and then the OS would want more and it would go and trim the working set. Which is not friendly. It's like, trim the working employment set, which means you're laying off a bunch of people. And then it would start pushing the pages in RAM to the page file, and that was slow. You know, users hated you when that started happening. Performance would take an awful nosedive. More than nosedive, it would just straight up crash. You needed to be especially careful in virtualized environments. If you're setting lock pages in memory on a VM, you're most likely trying to skirt around uh, your VM admin not giving you a, a resource lock on the, for your VM. No, a reservation rather. So that's one kind of tricky way of getting around it, but it, it, I'd much rather see you work with your VM admin to get the right reservation in place. Memory management does and has gotten much better in newer versions of Windows and SQL Server. The SQL OS is, as far as I know, still constantly under improvement. So should you enable lock pages in memory? Well, probably not. Uh, SQL really should be the only thing on the box, and you really should be giving SQL Server enough memory that you don't have to worry about it paging out. Uh, if you start seeing error messages uh, in your SQL Server's error log that you are paging stuff to disk, uh, I'd be much more concerned about the hardware that I'm on, um, you know, after, because I know that you're doing everything you can for SQL Server to be running by itself on a server and not, not getting messed with by anything. It can't, now, lock pages in memory can be a helpful setting, if you are instance stacking, meaning you're installing multiple instances on a single server, I don't want to teach you how to do that better. It's a bad idea, and I know it helps with licensing stuff because you can install a bajillion instances and I'll pay extra for them, but it's really not something that you should be doing. If you're doing that, you should like you obviously don't care enough about performance to, for the setting to matter anyway. The same with you me. Kind of new in SQL Server 2016 is the ability to see if you have any memory settings changed from the default in the DMVs. If you go into sys.dmos sysinfo uh, and you select from that, all the way at the end, there are a couple columns. There's the SQL memory model column, and then there's the SQL memory model description column. I prefer the description column because that's where the human readable English words are that I can figure out. Uh, and there, there are three. There are three different possible states that it could be. There's conventional, which is the default, which means you're not logging pages in memory and you're not using large pages. 
There's the lock pages description, which is pages are locked in memory. And then there's the large pages description, which means you have gone and you have enabled large pages and you've turned on trace flag with 834 and uh, you are now using large memory pages for some reason. Good luck. Anyway, that's about all there is to say about lock pages in memory. Uh, I hope you learned a little bit. hope you enjoyed reading this. And I hope you're on SQL Server 2016 so you can figure out that's how you're using that. Thanks a lot.